Picture a hallway. At the end of this hallway is a door. You unlock this door with the key of Brother Dan. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. Moving to a land of shadow and substance. Of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the announcement zone. On the second day of December in a year when a Georgia peanut farmer was doing business in the White House, one of Colorado's great resort hotels burned to the ground. The overlook was declared a total loss. Wow, that, that is spooky mm. for a spooky week. Mm. And what is our spooky fact of the day, Lucas? Our spooky fact of the day is that in three days, early applications are due, and I haven't done anything yet. Also, this book is Stephen King's Dr. Sleep from our Pick Up Line segment. If you like the book, pick it up in the library. Now, what do we got for lunch today? Aiden? For lunch today, we have the Free Range Turkey Club with mm. Applewood Bacon. We also got the BLT with Applewood Bacon, the Spooky Spiced Barbecue <laughs> Porce Ribs, and the Spooky Spiced Barbecue Wochong Tofu. And we've also got that mellow strawberry and watermelon jumpstart smoothie. Beautiful. And in student life, we welcome the students from St. Teresa and the Academy School who are visiting today. Enjoy your visit. Welcome, welcome, guys. And reminder, tomorrow is a 9 a.m. start. Oh, that's so nice. Spirit point update. There are two more opportunities to get spirit points. Participation in Thursday's Halloween costume contest. You must be in a legitimate costume and the upcoming food drive. The class who donates the most food slash money will earn 20 spirit points. Ooh. That can be a game changer, Panthers. And hey, Panthers, tomorrow night is Halloween movie night. Mm. We'll have the fire pits with s'mores and bring your blankets, hoodies, and lawn chairs for a fun night. Everyone is welcome. Get your costume ready for Thursday's costume contest. Oh. Prizes awarded for the best costumes include a creative group one. Make plans to stick around for lunch that day. And don't forget to share a memory or photo of someone in your life who has passed away on our Dia de los Muertos altar in the Student Life Center. This Friday, we will offer prayers to and celebrate their lives during break with pan dulce and hot chocolate for everyone to share after the prayer service. And hey, freshmen, you're mm. ready to go pumpkin hunting on mm. Halloween. All throughout campus, we will hide pumpkins for you to find and collect. Turn them in at the Freshman Social at A Block on Thursday to earn special prizes. Ooh. <coughs> And let's head over to Studio B and hear even more about Halloween. Hey, hey, Panthers, it's Andrew and Bello, and we are here to talk about the Halloween surprises for the next two days. Today at A Block, that section club is hosting a pumpkin carving contest, so make sure you go down to room 413 and check it out. Uh, like Aiden and Lucas said, tomorrow we'll be having a very scary movie night from 5 to 8. A special thanks to everyone that voted on the movie yesterday. Um, thanks to you guys, we'll be watching Happy Death Day um, while we eat pizza, have cookies, have like just chill out and stuff. Um, we're gonna, if we're able to be outside, we're gonna bring, have s'mores, we're gonna have all of that. We're gonna bring your long chairs, bring a blanket, um, get ready for a really cozy and fun night. It's gonna be really spooky, so come on down. Now back to Aiden and Lucas. Thank you. Hey, Circle SM students, meet today during A Block in the library. If you are assigned either the All Saints Mass and the All Saints Prayer Service, you must be there. Your names are posted on the Shea Center window. Also, anyone who interviewed for Circle SM in addition to current members, please be sure to check your SM Panther email account. Mm, and hey, Panthers, intramural volleyball playoffs begins tomorrow. It's October madness. Thank you to Team Sizzlers and Team Bio Ballers, but your season is over. <sighs> Team Mad Frogs and wait, this isn't basketball, have a bye week. Check the Shea Student Life Center window for the playoff bracket. And the food drive begins on Friday, November mm. 1st, and runs through the 18th. Competition will be by homeroom, so clean out yours and your grandmother's pantry. Please think protein-rich foods. More details to come later. And if it's Tuesday, we have another brown bag discussion today at lunch. Let's hear from Adeline about today's topic. Hey, Panthers. Today at lunch, we'll be having a brown bag discussion about growing up Asian in America in Mr. Ricardi's room in Frady's. If you identify under the umbrella term Asian, including East Asians, Southeast Asians, Mixed Asians, or allies, everyone is welcome, so please come out. Thank and you, for club news today, at A Block we have the Gardening Club and the Panther Press. Awesome. And attention Panthers, the Bakers Club and Salt Folks will have a $1 goodie sale after school today around the cross. 
Come and buy a treat while supporting our twin school in Kenya at the same time. And counseling news, ACAP, the Bay Area Accounting Career Awareness Program, mm. will be holding a career conference on Saturday, November 23rd at Cal State East Bay. The event is free and open to high school students. For more information, stop by the Counseling Center. And Screenagers, the next chapter will be shown in the auditorium at 6.30 p.m. next Wednesday evening, November 6th. <coughs> Come and learn more about reducing stress and developing healthy screen habits. Invite your parents. And for some more counseling and health news, let's go to <coughs> Owen Jump with this week's vaping story. Owen Jump. Mm. Hey, St. Mary's, here's your vaping story of the week. A small research study looked at how vapes that contain the common vape juice additives propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin affected the lungs of healthy non-smokers. So the hypothesis was that these two ingredients can get into a vape user's lungs while they're still in liquid form rather than aerosol form, which is how they're supposed to be delivered. And so in liquid form, they can lead to a buildup of fluid and which can cause pneumonia. So to test this, researchers um, recruited 30 healthy non-smokers and divided them into two groups. So one were, like one group of 15 were selected to be, uh, continue to not vape, and another 15 were given vapes that contained propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, um, but no nicotine or like special flavors, so they were not addictive. Um, the 15 who were selected to vape were shown how to vape and instructed to take at least 20 puffs an hour for two hours every day. So next week, we will detail the results of the study. Back to Aiden and Lucas. And now here is Ethan with today's Panther Athletics. But wait, where is Ethan? 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 Oh. Oh. Hey, St. Mary's. So today for sports, we have senior day for St. Mary's women's tennis team as they host El Cerrito at Memorial Park today at 3.30 p.m. So make sure to go out and support them. And now back to Aiden and Lucas with today's birthdays. Well, before we got birthdays, it's time now to spill, spin the wheel once spill again. Wheel. Once wheel. again, we congratulate Miss Reddy's class down in room 800 and the independent hey. study students in the library. Now, all, are y'all ready to spin? Yes. Aiden, will you, would you do the honors? Oh, I would. Oh. What will it be? Mm. Will it be? Wheel of Fortune. Two twelve. Go 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Have a great day, St. Mary's. Okay.